guys, what's up? It's good 52. It's currently quarter past five in the morning, but for good reason, we are going off to the airport to go on holiday. And as you can tell by my voice, I'm very tired and haven't had my morning coffee. So let's get everything in the bag, let's head on to the bus station and let's go. Woo. checked into the Airbnb and um, managed to get here. It is such a maze in Oslo, but we're here, gonna go get a shower, charge everything up because we're gonna go since 4am and then we're gonna head out and go have a look at the Carl Jonas Gate and then hopefully gonna have a look at the palace this evening. So that's my itinerary for today. Let's go check it out. Boop. So we're just at the palace, which is just behind me here. There we go. We're just around the gardens and it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. The weather's pretty good, so I've got lucky. Apparently it's gonna rain all weekend. Weekend, it's the middle of the week, Steve. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Everyone keeps saying that uh, Norway's really expensive. I just popped to a shop and managed to get like a chicken panini, a chocolate bar, and a bottle of coke, all for like nine quid. So pretty good. That's like Costa prices, but you're from the UK. So I can't complain with that. On to the rest of the city. which is by Karina Kai Common and she basically installed all of these hanging shirts by hat to this pyramid structure. It's to do with biculturalism and that we're all the same um, and that we're very similar to fish. So you can see it goes, it's quite a long stretch and there's shirts just all over it. It's quite a cool little installation down by the waterfront near the Opera House.
climb the top of the Opera House and you get this amazing view of the Ford. Just like the giant body of water just there. Right, while up there they were filming a, uh, some sort of interview on TV, so <laughs> it might be in the background of that. It's beautiful in Norway, absolutely loving it. Um, now, they've got these little electric scooters all over town, so I guess what I'm going to do. So I didn't stop at the castle because I was having too much fun on the scooter, which is an absolute ripper. 20 kilometers an hour, so that's like 15 miles an hour. Jesus Christ, that was so much fun. Uh, but it ran out of battery just as I got to the, well, basically the end of Oslo that I could go at this point. I don't actually know what part of Oslo I'm in, but it's coming up to eight o'clock local time. So I'm gonna go get some food. I've just seen a gelato place, so that's definitely happening. And then I'll probably head back to the uh, Airbnb and get some sleep, because I've been up since 4 a.m. It's been a long day of filming. I've filmed about 50 minutes worth of people, 50 minutes worth of B-roll. So I've got a lot more, I've got a lot to edit. And that's only taken up a full SD card. Luckily, I've got 128 gigabyte one ready to go as well. That's the rest of Norway and Iceland settled. So, let's get some groove. 